This is Daniel Conley, a biochemist who wants to see 150 million years back in time with the help of this. This may not look like much, but it's mud from the bottom of the deep sea, and it holds the secrets to the past. Daniel Conley is investigating the seas of ancient times. His sights are set on finding a moment in time when the chemistry of the oceans changed completely. A time that gave shape to all life on Earth. And to find this world-changing event, he is looking at a common element called silicon. I'm interested in silica because for a long time it was thought that it was very abundant in the oceans. And we know today that it hasn't been abundant. And the question is, how has that changed through time? To help him find what he's looking for, Daniel Conley uses clay, or rather sediment, from the seabed that he orders online from the International Ocean Discovery Project. Anyone could order from here, but you have to write a justification. They can say yes or they can say no, depending on what kind of material you're asking for and for how much. Sediment is formed by all the material that settles down at the bottom of the sea. It is largely gravel and mud, but also consists of the remains of dead plants and animals. Oceanic sediment is constantly accumulating and has been for millions of years. And by fishing up sediment cores, scientists like Daniel Conley can examine the past. And then I'm ready to make the request. And I uh, review and submit. Daniel Conley was born and raised in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I grew up near the ocean, and I have this really tight connection with it. I love to be here looking at the water. I like being in the water, and I like being on the water. It just fills me up as a person. It's almost spiritual on what it does to me. He can change his shape and size. With oceanic pioneer and underwater photographer Jacques Cousteau as an idol, Daniel dreamed early on of becoming a marine scientist. I really thought I would become an oceanographer, and I envisioned myself going out and taking samples and doing the same kinds of things that Jacques Cousteau was doing. And today, it is one of the smallest inhabitants of the sea that has Daniel Conley's full attention, diatom algae. That looks really quite spectacular. Yeah, this is the Gladius genera, which is extinct. It appears only in Cretaceous. Diatoms are algae in the ocean, and they take up silica, and they build a silicious wall, a silicious cell wall of silica, and they form these beautiful, amazing shapes. From the sediment samples which Daniel Conley received in the mail, he can clean up fossils from silica algae. Only the shell remains, sometimes crushed into small pieces, other times intact. Sometimes in these pores, there are other smaller pores. Mm -hmm. So there are pores inside of pores. It looks beautiful. Amazing creatures. But which moment in time is Daniel Conley looking for? that moment when the chemistry of the oceans changed. He wants to know when the diatoms became common. This is important to know because it changed Earth's ecosystem. When diatoms started to expand, they not only provided food, but they grow faster than other algae. And so it made them more available for other organisms to eat because there were more of them because they were growing faster. Today, there are diatom algae in huge quantities all over the world, so much so that we can sometimes see them bloom from space, here in green. Because of their massive numbers, they have an enormous impact. In addition to being a major food source, the algae absorb large quantities of silicon from the oceans. And just like land-based plants, they absorb carbon dioxide and give off oxygen. As much as 20% of the oxygen in the atmosphere today 
is believed to come from the diatom algae. To find out when the diatom algae changed the world, Daniel Conley will systematically analyze the silicon content of older and older sediments, the oldest of which he has gotten hold of is 150 million years old. Okay, the samples are loaded. All right. It is thanks to the help of this machine, a mass spectrometer, that the journey through time becomes possible. In the mass spectrometer, Daniel Conley's diatom samples are analyzed. The results can then reveal information about the silicon in the sea many millions of years ago. If the water was then completely devoid of dissolved silicon, it is a sign that there were then huge amounts of diatoms that sucked everything up. That way, Daniel Conley can determine when the silica algae became innumerable. So the story of the little diatom algae is not just a story about the chemistry of the sea. That it became successful has influenced the animals of that time and their evolution. And that was one of the moments which ultimately led to that we humans actually became humans. I'm not exaggerating when I say that diatoms really played a key role in the chemistry of the oceans through time the importance cannot be really overstated.